Polling suggests the president remains a two-point underdog to his challenger, the vice president, making his fifth stop in the Grand Canyon State this year, hoping to secure votes in rural communities, areas where the president ran up his biggest margins in 2016. Well, not the draw of his boss, plenty still poured into Flagstaff Pulliam Airport to hear Vice President Mike Pence rally voters. I think they need uh, all the support they can get right now because we need to kind of win this election. In a tight race for the White House, Arizona is now a battleground state, polling putting the candidates neck and neck. The Trump campaign making it a priority to urge those in rural counties to turn out in record numbers. I believe in a good work, work ethic. You believe in government kind of getting out of the way so that you can live your life. And I think that's what's going to draw a lot of rural supporters. The president has taken direct aim at those counties throughout the state, hosting nearly weekly rallies from Prescott to Bullhead City. Flagstaff, another area offering voters in Winslow, Lake Havasu City and Verde Valley a short drive to hear their candidates in person. Unfortunately, I think Biden's campaign is going towards socialism and communism, you know, raising taxes, taking our money and redistributing it. Both Governor Doug Ducey and Senator Martha McSally made their pitches on stage today. Issues like abortion. Even if it was just that issue alone, I would vote for President Trump. And the coronavirus. It's all blown up. I think they're trying to hurt Trump in any way they can. I believe this is why the virus came in here. Continue to galvanize the conservative electorate. The real question is if President Trump doesn't land a decisive win in Maricopa County, can he find enough votes in places like this? I'm Cameron Poldum, ABC 15, Arizona.